a new live watercolor tutorial. Today we'll be painting blueberries. If you're watching live, feel free to say hi in the chat and where you're watching from. Um, before we get started, I do want to say that you can find this outline here in the description of the video as well as a reference photo to work from. And I'm going to quickly go over my supplies with you. Hi, hi, Farine and uh, Sherlyn. Um, there, there will be a replay of this live tutorial. Uh, hi, Jazz. Jazz says, I'm finally attending my first live. Yay. <laughs> hi, Sarah and Chloe. Hi. Okay, so I am using cold press watercolor paper from Arches, and this is a size 5x7. And my brushes that I plan on using are two of my silver black velvet brushes. These are size, um, size two and four, and they're both round. And I was thinking that I might use this size zero Princeton Neptune brush, and this is a round two. And my paints that I plan on using, I, uh, I plan on using my Agalo paint set here. Um, I used this for my strawberries from last week, so I will link this tutorial in the description below for you if you also wanted to check this one out. But I, I wanted to try and use the same colors for my blueberries, so I'm going to use this set here. Um, and then I plan on using my Decadent Pies pan set. I was thinking of using these two colors right here, the blackberry and the blueberry. Hi everyone, we, we have Liz and Trish is here, Inky from France. We have Allison Evans is here. Um, good morning, Chloe. Sydney, hi Sydney. Uh, Shelly is here. She says, good morning, Allison and all from sunny Saskatoon. I'm so happy to be able to attend live this morning. Me too, I'm happy you're here. And Fallon is here. Good morning. Okay, so um, all of the supplies are linked below for you in the description um, if you also wanted to check them out, like on Amazon. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, Chloe says, it's afternoon where I am. Yeah, it's morning where, where I am. Um, where where are, are you from, Chloe? I'd love to know. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we, I th what I was thinking was painting in the blueberries first and like getting them basically done and then going into the leaves last. So for the blueberries, we're going to start with like a very light blue. Okay, so I'm gonna take my uh, size four silver black velvet brush here. And I'm gonna start with this very light blue right here from the Agalo set. So I'm just gonna take this, add it to this well here with some water. So you want your blue to be very light. You'll probably uh, want to mix a lot of water into your blue. This blue is already light to begin with, like it's, it's not super strong um, pigmented, if that makes sense. So I probably won't add as much water as I would um, otherwise. Hi, Kizzy. Um, Mayra is here, hi. Jazz says, hi everyone, I'm from the Netherlands. So here it's late in the afternoon. Hi, Yvonne. So nice to see you. She says she's getting ready. Okay, so I'm just adding this blue to my palette, adding water to it. Again, basically this first layer, we, we are um, painting like the lightest parts of the blueberry. So. Like I said, we want it to be very, very light. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did um, 
use watercolor pencils to trace my outline. So what I did was I used a light pad and um, I used watercolor pencils to, to trace. So I used these two here. Uh, my, uh, what are they called? Faber Castell um, pencils. Um, and then I, I did use a regular pencil for some of the areas that I I didn't really want to actually like, uh, what am I trying to say? I, I used pencil for the areas that I wanted to be able to see my outline even when I add in paint, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna start with this blueberry here. Okay. So I'm just gonna fill it in. I'm gonna work like one blueberry at a time. I mean, I'm even going to just fill in like basically all of it. So the, as you can see, the um, pencil marks are the marks that I just wanted to stay so that I can see part of the blueberry as I paint and add paint to it. And then my um, watercolor pencil is just kind of blending into the blue I'm painting with. Okay, and then while this is wet, I'm gonna take another blue color. So I'm going to grab some of this blueberry from Decadent Pies. And yeah, it is pretty vibrant. So I'm also going to add some of this blackberry to it to kind of tone it down a tiny bit. Okay, that's a little too dark. Okay, and then since this blue is a little darker than the light blue I painted with, I'm just going to drop this in to the areas of the blueberry where there's a shadow. So like kind of at the bottom, and then the sides here, and then kind of like in the middle, a little bit. Okay, so that's good for the first layer. We, we will add another layer to these blueberries. Um, Let's see, I'm reading more of your, <clears throat> your comments here. Carol, hi Carol. She says, hello everybody from France, 4 p.m. in, in Nor Normandy. Nice, I love France, I've been there a few times. Um, Yvonne says, great, I have decadent pies colors, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking um, the Blackberry and blueberry from that pan set would be perfect for for these blueberries. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the next blue, blueberry now and like do the same thing. So again, I'm gonna take this light blue here from the Agalo pan set. Add more to my palette with some water. Trish says, what size is your painting? My painting is a size five by seven. Hi, Tracy. Tracy says, good morning from Colorado. Nice. Okay, so while this blueberry is wet, I don't really wanna paint a blueberry that is right next to this, just in case my colors just blend together on both of them. So I wanna choose a blueberry that is not touching this one. So I'm gonna paint this one in with that light blue. Basically just fill it in. Okay, and then while it is wet, we want to add another shade of blue. So again, I'm gonna take that blueberry color from Decadent Pies that has a little bit of that blackberry color from the same pan set mixed in, 
And then I'm just gonna add this darker blue kind of where there is a shadow. So where this blueberry is right next to other blueberries, I'm gonna add this darker blue. Kind of at the top too. Hi, hi, uh, Rum, Rum Put, Rum Put. Um, <laughs> I hope I said your username right. They say, hi, hi, I am Ali. Oh, Ali, okay. I am Ali from Indonesia. I love your artwork. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Chatra is here. Hi, Chatra. Good morning. She says, please share what colors you mixed. Thanks, I missed that. Yeah, of course. Okay, so for these blueberries, I am using, for the, the very first layer, I'm using this one here, this very light blue from the Agalo pan set. And then I, while it's still wet, I drop in a darker shade of blue. And for that, I mixed blueberry and a little bit of this blackberry together. And these are from the Decadent Pies pan set. Okay, so let's um, find another blueberry to paint here. So again, taking this very light blue. This one, okay, I think this one's dry, I think. <laughs> so let's go ahead and paint in this top one here. So again, we're just Filling it all in with the light blue. And of course, yeah, we will um, add a second layer to these to add more detail and color to them. So this is just like the, the base layer. Okay, and then while this is still wet, I'm gonna take that other blue. So if you're just joining, I'm taking the a mixture of the blueberry and blackberry from the Decadent Pies pan set. So I'm taking like a darker shade of blue and then dropping it in where there is shadow. And I kind of meme it on the sides a little bit. Sarah says, sorry, it was gone for a while. Just talking to my neighbor. Oh, that's okay, Sarah. Kizzy says, I love that Agalo paint set. A new thing on my on my wish list. Yeah, I love this set so, so much. Like the colors in it are just beautiful. And like so natural looking too. So if you're joining me live, or even the, the replay, are you painting along with me? Are you painting blueberries right now with me? Or are you um, just doing your own thing? I'd love to know. Okay, so again, yeah, we want to paint a blueberry that is not next to a wet blueberry. I think this one's dry. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I don't wanna like mess it up. <laughs> um. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint in this one here. Okay, and then again, I'm taking that darker blue shade. And since this blueberry right here is dark, like right here, I want to keep this one light right here just to add contrast and depth. So instead, I kind of want to add the dark blue down here where there is most likely a shadow. 
and kind of in the middle too. Liz says that she is painting blueberries with us. Tracy says, enjoying a cup of coffee by the fire. It's a beautiful snowy morning here in the mountains. Ooh, that sounds so like calming and peaceful. Okay, before I get started on another blueberry, I do wanna mix more of that darker blue shade. So um, again, it's blueberry from Decadent Pies mixed with a little bit of the blackberry from Decadent Pies. So yeah, I'm taking this lighter blue first. And uh, I think now I'm gonna paint this one in. Who here uh, was with us last Friday when we painted the strawberries? That um, tutorial was so much fun. I really enjoyed painting those strawberries. It's been really cool to see some of yours, like how, how yours turned out. Okay, and I'm gonna take this darker blue Add a little bit here. Okay. A little bit in the middle part there. This one is, is probably gonna be kind of dark right here, so I don't wanna add too much of the dark blue on this one, like right here. So I'm gonna kind of be careful about that. Same, like right here, these two will be dark right there, so I don't wanna add too much of the dark blue on this one here too. So I think I might just leave it like that for now. Um, and maybe blend this up a little bit. Carol says, is this hell blue like the cerulean blue? <clears throat> yeah, this kind of looks like cerulean blue to me. So I, I, I would say the lighter blue I'm using is like cerulean blue, yeah. Um, Jess says, I only have paint from Windsor Newton. I love the paint collection you have, Allison. It's a long wish list of materials, but recently invested in new brushes from the brand Da Vinci. Oh, nice. Um, I haven't tried their brushes. I, I would actually like to experiment more with brushes and like try brushes from different kinds of brands. So you'll have to let me know how those are. Okay, so I'm gonna take this lighter blue again and we'll work on another blueberry. Okay, so we don't wanna work on this one here because this one's still wet. Okay, I think this one's dry here. So I'm gonna work on this lower one. If you're just joining, I do have an outline for you in the description, if you'd like to not worry about drawing out the blueberries. <laughs> yeah, and there's also a reference photo. Okay, and then again, I'm taking this darker blue here. And I think I'm just gonna add it down here in the lower part of this blueberry. Um, because this one here is going to be dark right there. So I kind of want to try and keep the 
contrast, if that makes sense. It's, it's always good to have, when, when you're painting two subjects next to each other, to have, if one subject is dark on one side, to have the other one light on that side so that there's um, contrast. I hope I'm making sense. Yvonne says, by the, wait, by the time I draw my berries, the tutorial is going to be done. Getting so interrupted. Oh, I'm sorry. Kizzy says, didn't do any painting today. I'll keep this tutorial for next week. Finished the strawberries yesterday. Yeah, Kizzy, I just saw your strawberries on Instagram and they are like so good. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm taking the light blue again. And this time I will paint this one that's just kind of hiding, hiding behind all the other ones. And for this one, I probably won't drop in any dark blue right now because this, this one is just kind of, like it, it's not going to be one of the ones that I, um, it's, it's just there, you know? It's like behind all of the ones that are, um, have more detail, if that makes sense. So again, I'm taking a light blue and then now I'm going to uh, paint in this one. And since this one's still wet, I need to be careful. I mean, but I, I don't think it's a big deal if these two kind of blend together. Okay, and I'm gonna take the darker blue and I'm gonna drop that in right here. Then maybe a little bit on the outer edge. Hi, Catelyn. She says, good morning, everyone. Chadra says, please share the name of the Agalo paint set when you have the time. Yeah, I, I did link this exact paint set in the description of this video, like to their website, the exact paint, paint set here. It is sold out at the time of this live video, but um, I think it's called the natural, nat natural paint set. But there's, Shelly says, I was there. I haven't painted my strawberries yet, but I will soon as work slows down a bit. Jazz says, my old brushes were the most cheap brushes from AliExpress, so for me, this is an amazing improvement. I love the brushes from Da Vinci. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we painted in the first layer on these uh, blueberries, so now it's time for the second layer. All right, um, so this time we want to mix a different kind of blue. So we're not going to use that light blue again. Instead, we're, we're just going to build up the shadows with like a dark blue. So we want to mix more of this dark blue color. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this blackberry. Add that in as well. This may actually be the exact color that we kind of want. Just like a really beautiful dark blue. So yeah, if you don't have this pan set, you can just mix um, Payne's Gray into a blue that you have. Um, Cause that, that'll work. I think that'll make it pretty blue too. Okay, and then yeah, I'm I'm not adding a lot of water to this either because I want this to be pretty dark. And then we, we want to mix like another kind of blue. So I'm looking at the reference and seeing here. I I like when artists kind of 
add a little bit of purple to their blueberries. I feel like it looks really pretty. So maybe I'll try to mix a purple. I, I could just grab a, pur a purple though. <laughs> but I guess I'll go ahead and mix, mix a purple. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take this blueberry here, add that over here. Yeah, n none of these paint sets really have a purple. Um, so I guess I'll just, although it is, in my opinion, kind of difficult to mix a purple. We'll see how this turns out. <laughs> I'm gonna take this like apple red, add that. Ew, okay, that's not gonna work out. Let's just grab a purple. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see. Um, see what we have here. I might use this Ultramarine Violet from Daniel Smith. Okay. Hina says, good morning. Just got here. It looks great, Allison. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to take this purple here, Ultramarine Violet from Daniel Smith. I'm just going to put it in this well that has a little bit of blue. So yeah, now, now we have kind of like a purpley blue shade. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Uh, Catlin says, I haven't painted my strawberries yet, but I'll do it this weekend along with these beautiful blueberries. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun painting fruit. I need to, I need to paint more. All right, so now this second layer um, is all about just trying to get the values correct like adding shadows and um, more color to the blueberries. So I'm gonna be working with two brushes at the same time. This brush here, I have paint in it, and then I'm gonna have this other brush, my size two round brush with just water in it to kind of blend my paint as I work. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, this top blueberry here. I'm gonna, um, I think first I'm, I'm going to add this purpley blue to the blueberries first, like all of them. And then I will add the darker blue to the blueberries after that. So I'm gonna take this purpley blue here and I'm just gonna add it in just a few areas. So I just dabbed it on that blueberry and now I'm switching to my brush that just has water in it and I'm gonna kind of blend. Blend. And I, I wanna keep this over here very light. I don't wanna like really add any, any more paint to this area. And I'm just kind of going over the outer edge of this blueberry more. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm basically adding this purple, pur purpley blue, kind of in the shadows, and then kind of blending it out, but being careful not to paint over the lightest areas of my blueberry. And if you look at the reference photo or like any photo of blueberries, um, there's a lot of texture going on. So as you can see, I'm not like blending super smoothly. Because if I do that, they'll, they'll They'll just look too fake. We don't want our blueberries to look fake. So I'm trying, as I blend, I'm trying to just blend kind of imperfectly to have, like keep that 
texture that we see in the blueberries. Um, let's see, I'm reading more of your comments. Catlin says, I use the velvet touch brushes. I find them great for watercolor. Velvet touch. Velvet touch. I don't think I've tried those. Um, Allison says, Agalo updates her shop once a month. She generally sells out and like within hours. So if you want, want it. So if, if you want this uh, paint set here, which is what Allison Evans is saying, um, it's a good idea to be there right when the shop updates it. Okay, good to know, Allison. <laughs> uh, Chacha says, Vintage Pastels has a lilac. Yeah, I feel like that, that would be really pretty for the blueberries. Okay, so again, I applied my paint and I'm, I switched brushes. I switched to a brush that just has water in it and I'm just kind of moving this paint up, being careful not to paint uh, the highlights of the blueberry. And every time I switch to my, I call it my blending brush. Every time I switch to my blending brush, I dip it in my water jar and I dab it on my paper towel to soak up excess water because you don't want too much water for blending. I'm gonna move to this one here. Ooh, moon glow, that would be perfect, Trish. Oh my gosh. I totally didn't even think of that. I have that paint now, thanks to Allison. She she sent me that paint. Oh, that's a good idea. If if you guys don't know, um, we're talking about Moon Glow from Daniel Smith. It's like a, a very pretty, like I'm trying to figure out how to describe it, like a very pretty dark purple but it's it's not like super vibrant it's, it's like kind of um uh what am I trying to say <laughs> it's so hard to like explain things and paint at the same time maybe I'll get that paint out too and show you guys and like use it a little bit Okay. Um, Naomi, hi. She says, good morning, everyone. Nice to see you again. Allison, it's nice to see you again, too. Hi, Black Chocolate. Um, Sarah says, I am hoping to paint over the weekend. I need to finish the wreath and the butterfly. Ooh. Yeah, that, that tutorial was a ton of fun. That's like one of my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that moon glow. Actually, I think I have it right here. To find it first. I think, yeah, this is it. Moon glow from Daniel Smith. Uh, oh, I have a swatch of it right here, actually. <laughs> so this is the, the Moon Glow color. 
which is really pretty. Yeah, that that would be really really pretty. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to add another layer to these blueberries. Let me look at the reference first. Let me see. Um, okay. I'm trying to think what else. If, if I want to add any other shades, besides like a dark blue shade, if we want to add any other shades of like maybe, um, like a pinkish color or a green. I, I don't think I want to add green because some, some blueberries have green in them. All right. I think I'm going to add moon glow to like the shadows first and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to take this moon glow. I'm going to add it here. I'm not going to add a lot of water either, just, just enough to make it easy to apply. And I think I'm going to add some like right here. Okay, and then take a blending brush, another brush with just water, and move this around, blend it. I think I, I just want this to be like in the darkest of areas. I don't want it too much in my blueberry, I think. And then I think I'm going to add some like right here. Blending. Again, I'm not blending perfectly smoothly because I want texture in my blueberries. Uh, Allison says, I have to finish my strawberries too, but painting blueberries now. Hi, Farine. Farine is here. Uh, Green, hi, Green. It's nice to see you. She says, ooh, pretty. I love blueberries. Trish says, grainy lady, moody purple with blue sediment. That kind of separates. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a, a good way to describe moon glow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and then she says, with a touch of pink as well. I, I think that that's what you're talking about, Trish, right? Describing moon glow. Which is what I am painting with right now. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that's what I thought you were talking about. Kim, hi Kim. She says, hello everyone, watching from Northeast Ohio. Your blueberries are looking amazing. I have moon glow too, love it. Oh, I'm so glad you're here.
Yeah, I think after this layer, I will add detail to the blueberries, like um, in the middle parts, like here and here. And then we'll do one last uh, application of color to them and move on to the leaves. Do you guys want some more fruit tutorials in the future? Um, let's see. Next Friday, we'll be doing a mouse, a cute little mouse. I'm thinking maybe under a mushroom, but that might be a little too much for a live tutorial, so I don't really know. But maybe, but we'll, we'll be painting a cute little mouse. And then, um, yeah, so might be a while like a few weeks until we do another kind of fruit okay this one here I'm not really sure yet what I want for this one that's like behind the others maybe I'll add a little bit to the outer outer edge like this Tracy says Perfect for blueberries. Yeah, yeah, I think you're talking about uh, moon glow. Kim says, yes, would love more fruit. And so so does Jazz. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, Sarah. Sarah says, hi, everyone. Blueberries are looking lovely. Do you plan on eating a blueberry dessert tonight, Allison? <laughs> That's a good question. So, um... <laughs> Last Friday, we painted strawberries, and I actually went to the store that Friday and got strawberries and made, like, a strawberry dessert. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be going to the store today, and I don't have blueberries, so probably not. But I, I would like to get some, though, next time I go. All right, so now we're going to go back into each of these blueberries and add the, um, I don't know exactly what it's called, that middle part that kind of opens up. We're gonna add detail to that. Uh, <laughs> Hannah, Hannah and Kim and um, Sydney is excited about the mouse that we'll be painting. Me too. And um, Allison says yes for more fruits. Yeah, Sydney, I am so excited about that art challenge. So if you guys don't know, um, okay, ho hold on. We're going to take a minute break, uh, like one minute break here, um, to do the artist spotlight. And, um, I also want to share a, an upcoming art challenge with you. So if you don't know, in like two weeks, two, two weeks, there will be a new art challenge called the Woodland Animal Art Challenge. It's a 10 day challenge. Um, if you want to learn about it and join us, you can find the, find the link to it in the description of this live tutorial. But we have almost um, 200 of you guys signed up for it. I can't believe it, but I'm so excited. Okay, so now it is time for, for the artist spotlight. So if you don't know, every uh, live tutorial I do, we do an artist spotlight. Um, we spotlight an artist who uses the hashtag Allison Line Art Tutorial on Instagram. So if you use that hashtag and like show um, your, your painting from a live tutorial of mine, you may have the opportunity to be featured here. So today um, I am spotlighting Mary. Mary here. Um, she did my strawberry tutorial from last Friday. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So beautiful. Um, so her username is called The Needle in UK Crafts. <laughs> so her Instagram is below for you if you wanted to support her on there. And yeah, 
yeah okay so let's continue painting all right I do have to hook up my my phone again so it might shake for a minute All right. Okay. Ooh, Chatra, a blackberry would be cool. A blackberry. Yeah. Okay, so um we for the middle part of these blueberries here, I'll just show you what I'm talking about in case you're like, what is she talking about? This part of the blueberry right here. We, we want like a dark blue. So I'm probably just gonna use that blackberry color from Decadent Pies. This one here, I think I'm gonna use this one for that. And it's basically in this well right here already. So I'm just gonna add water to this cause it's kind of dried up. Uh, Shelly says, I would love a mouse and mushroom. I love your drawings and paintings. It's wonderful that you share your sketches with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I've, it's just how I like to paint. I, I like to draw out my paintings first. So, and I, I feel like it's helpful. It's helpful for, for you guys too, to have like a, an outline to work from, so you don't have to worry about drawing your uh, painting. Okay, so I just added a little bit here to um, to this part that kind of pokes out, and now I'm switching to a brush that just has water in it, and I'm just gonna kind of blend this down. And then same like right here. So I'm like using the very tip of my brush and then switching to my blending brush. Um, let's see, right here. This part might be the hardest part of the painting, so just take your time. Now I'm kind of painting along these other indents. <laughs> and then, um, let's see. I do want to keep some of that middle unpainted. So as you can see, I kept a little bit of that lighter blue unpainted. Well, that's a good idea. Chatra says, how about a mouse and a blackberry? Um, <laughs> Trish says, I just ordered two blueberry shrubs for my garden. <gasps> oh my gosh. That sounds really cool. I've, I've always wanted like, like a blueberry yeah, I guess blueberry shrubs or bushes. But I just haven't ever like actually figured out how to like plant them or whatever. Okay, so I added a little bit of that darker blue kind of. Okay, I'm not sure if I like this. I added a little bit of that darker blue around the middle part here. Okay. That looks all right. I think I'm gonna move to, to the next one. I'm gonna move to this one up here. Um, Kim says, I love to freeze blueberries for a cold snack. 
Yeah, I, I like to get frozen blueberries and put them in like smoothies. I, I don't think I've eat, eaten just straight frozen blueberries though, but honestly, that sounds like really yummy. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, hold on. I don't know if I like this. If you don't like what you just painted, just take a clean brush with a little bit of water and just wipe. Wipe away and dab on your paper towel. <laughs> okay, um, let me, let me look closer at the reference. So actually it looks like the blueberries that kind of point up, it, it looks like the, I'm just gonna call them little triangles. I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> The little triangles that pop up, it looks like they're darker instead of the area right underneath them. So I'm gonna let this dry and then repaint that in when it's dry. Now I'm gonna move, move to this one here. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure this out. This is difficult for me right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start over here painting this little triangle that. Switch to my blending brush. Blend this kind of down over here. Uh, Chaz says, I illustrated an ebook about a little mouse last year. I'm sure this time it will be so much better painted. <laughs> Hey, I think that's pretty awesome though. I, I think it's so cool that you made an ebook. I mean, I feel like not many people do that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of painting in where there's like an indent, like here, 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 and then blending a little bit. But I'm, I'm really trying to leave this middle part here light. Okay, and then for that little, like that very middle part, okay, there's like a little tiny dot, <laughs> a little tiny dot or something. So I'm, I'm going to paint around it slightly, like, like may, maybe more towards one side, like that. Okay, I'm gonna read more of your comments. Uh, wow, I'm kind of behind, sorry. <laughs> Heidi, good morning, Heidi is here. Uh, Heather is here, good morning. She says, oh, they look so juicy, don't they? <laughs> Jazz says, so beautiful, Mary. I directly followed you. Yeah, her art is, uh, is really pretty. Heidi says, Mary's work looks great. Love the blueberries. My summer, my, my favorite summer fruit. Sarah says, looking forward to painting a mouse and mushroom next week. Me too. I, I'm not sure about the mushroom. Like I, I want to paint a mushroom, but we'll, we'll see. I don't want the tutorial to be like six hours long. <laughs> that would be crazy. Um, okay. So, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure this out here. Um, okay, so right underneath these triangle things that poke out, I'm going to paint a little bit of that dark blue like that, and I'm going to switch to my blending brush. 
Now I'm going to blend up instead of down, but I don't want to blend up too much, which I kind of did. I kind of did already. Okay, I, I'm just going to kind of just uh, wipe this off. <laughs> wipe this off. We'll, we'll figure this out here soon. Let's move on. Okay, so for this one, Again, I'm going to paint those little triangles <laughs> that pokes out like that. And then switch to my blending brush. Move this paint around. Um, okay, so this is very, very challenging. I think there's another one here, like this. Uh, Trish says they like acidic soil, so under or around evergreens. Well, that's good, because I, I have some, I have some of those. Kiana says, I add more brushes every year. They need, wait, bushes. I add more bushes every year. They need an acidic soil. Catlin says, I put half thawed blueberries on frozen yogurt for yummy treat. Ooh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> that sounds really good. Okay, so I'm going to move to this one here. So I applied the paint and then I switched to my blending brush and now I'm just kind of moving this over here. Okay, and in the very middle, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did right here. So I'm just gonna paint like just like half of it, so not all the way around. That just makes it look a little bit more realistic, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna read more of your comments. Hannah says, unless you want the birds to get all of your blueberries, you have to net them or do what I do, plant enough bushes so that the birds get the outside berries and you get the ones inside. You guys have some really good tips for blueberries, like planting blueberries. Good to know. Like, I, I didn't know any of this. I mean, but I never really looked into it that much, I guess. 
Okay, I'm gonna move to this one. So I, I'm blending this a little bit up, up here. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some more. All right, okay. Um, I'm gonna add some dark blue right here. Switch to my blending brush. Okay, we're getting there. We're like almost done. I'm gonna go back up here to this top one. And I'm gonna be in some of this. I'm gonna add like another one here. It just kind of looks a little too, I don't know. I, I just didn't like how it looked very much. And blend a little bit. Um, I'm gonna kind of blend this down and kind of just paint in some other like lower. I'm just I'm just gonna call them triangles like I have been lower triangle shapes like this. There, I like that a lot better. That looks good. Okay. Ooh, how are you guys doing? Are you finding this um, challenging like me? <laughs> Green says, it looks so good, Allison. You really have gotten so great at nature, painting, and watercolor. It's very impressive and goes to show what you can achieve with practice. <laughs> oh, thank you. That means a lot. Uh, Trish says, I also, I, I get so much confidence when I'm painting with you on these lives. You make me relax and not afraid to go and try my own thing and just play. Oh, that's awesome, Trish. I'm so glad. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with these so far. Um, I'm not going to add too much more to them. Instead, I, I will add just a little bit more, um, more shadow to some areas. So I'm taking this, I'm taking this blackberry from the Decadent Pies um, pan set. And, okay, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more up here, make this a little darker. Okay, let me see, maybe like here, and then switch, switch to my blending brush, blend a little bit. Basically, I'm just kind of dabbing my brush at this paint I just applied. And then same over here, I'm just kind of adding a darker layer and then dab okay this one do the same thing although I kind of I, I kind of like not even like when, when I add detail like this, sometimes I don't even blend anymore because it, it just, it's just fine. You don't have to always blend, especially when you're adding like detail like this.
Okay. Add a little bit more up here. Okay. All right, so I'm done with this blackberry color. I'm cleaning my brush. Uh, Tracy says, I'm learning so much from you about how to achieve the details in my paintings. I truly appreciate how you share your expertise. Thank you so much. You're so, 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 so welcome, Tracy. Um, I'm, I'm really glad you guys get a lot out of these live tutorials. So glad you do. Whew. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you, Heather. Heather says, huge congrats on reaching 5,000 subscribers. Thank you. Yeah, I just reached 5,000 a few days ago. I mean, it's all because of you guys, you know, your, your guys' support and just being part of this community. You, you helped me get there. <clears throat> Thank you, Allison. Okay, let's uh, continue painting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of this blueberry color here. Blueberry from Decadent Pies. I'm gonna take some of that, add it here to this well. Okay, I'm just gonna add some of this color in a few areas. Let's see, I kinda wanna add some over here. This is just looking a little flat. So I might add like, okay. Well, we'll see how this looks. Honestly, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm blending now. Okay. So yeah, I'm just kind of trying to add a little bit more color uh, to these guys. So I, I apply my paint and then I switch to my brush that just has water in it and I'm just kind of blending this color Even adding it a little bit in the shadows. But again, yeah, we, we don't wanna, we, we wanna be careful. We don't wanna paint like the highlights. Like we still wanna keep that very, that, that lightest shade of blue and paint it. Okay, I'm gonna add some to this little one that's behind all these guys. It's kind of hiding away. All right. <clears throat> Aw, you guys are so sweet. Heidi says, Trisha, I agree with you. Allison is honest when she paints. She can laugh and, but, but admits when things are challenging, 
She also con continues to take on the challenges directly. Such an inspiration. Aww, that means a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Catlin says, wild raspberry plant would be fun. <gasps> yes, it would. It would be a lot of fun. We, we should definitely do a raspberry. Definitely. Okay, so I'm looking at my blueberries. I just feel like it needs something. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out. I feel like I, I need some more, like, around the middle part here. So I, I'm just going to take some of this blackberry from the decadent pies. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. I, I don't want too much... Like, I, I don't want this to be super dark, so I, I do want to add, like, a good amount of water. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of paint a little bit around the middle part a little bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hope I hope this works out. I hope. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, that, that wasn't so bad. That looks okay. I just felt like I needed a little something. So basically, I added a little bit more blue around the middle part, but I kind of kept the parts that poke out, I kind of kept those a little lighter. Or you, you could do it the opposite if you want, to have them be a little darker and then lighter around. Okay, so I applied my paint and I'm taking blending brush, clean brush with just water in it and just kind of blending down a little bit. I'm just going to dab some more on this one that's still a little wet. And then this one here. Okay, I'm liking this better. I think this really just helps. Helps them look, look a little bit more realistic. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm really liking them. I'm liking how they're turning out. Honestly, they're taking me longer than I thought they would. I thought they'd be easier than the strawberries, but I'm not really sure about that, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Jazz says, it looks great, Allison. The strawberries were a huge challenge for me. My blueberries are not as neat, but I feel more confident with these today. Good. Uh, Heidi says, they look beautiful, yum. <laughs> Uh, Sarah says, Allison, what printer have you got? I have an Epson. Yeah, I, I have a Canon Pixma Pro 100. It's an older printer. I think they have a newer version now. I think it's like the 200. I could be wrong though. Um, and I do have a whole YouTube series all about prints like making prints with your art so you, you can find that on my channel if you need more um help with that all right so we're like in the final stage of these blueberries so just ask yourself how can I make these better do I need to add more to the shadows to make the shadows pop more um do I need to add some more detail to them 
And these are just questions I, I ask myself. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to the shadows, just help make them pop. So for the shadows, I think, I think I'm just gonna use that blackberry color again from the Decadent Pies set here. Maybe even with a little bit of that blueberry mixed in. Okay, so, um, so again, I'm gonna take the blackberry, and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of this blueberry into it, and not that much water. And I'm not gonna add a lot of this, just a tiny bit. So I added a little bit and then I switched to my blending brush and now I'm just kind of blending this and moving it up and around. And then yeah, I like to turn my art as I paint. It really helps. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit down here to really help uh, make this blueberry pop. Okay. And hmm, I think I'm gonna add some, the, this area right here is a little, a little, uh, giving me kind of some trouble. I think, I think I'm just gonna have this blueberry here a little darker than this one to help make these two stand out. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear Jimmy talk. He, when he talks on the phone, he talks like really loud. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. I, I like to add uh, more shadow to my art like this just help make it pop but you you can do a little too much the, the more layers you add the more muddy your colors can become so you just want to be careful about that Thank you, Allison. She says, they are looking amazing. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we don't have too much more to go for these guys. Then we'll paint in the leaves. Okay, then I'm gonna add some more down, down here. Okay. There we go, I think they're done. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I, I kind of feel like I could spend a little bit more time on them, but I'm pretty happy and I, I don't want to mess them up. Like sometimes it's good to just step back for like a day, um, and revisit your painting like the next day and then, um, you'll, you'll kind of see more of what you need to add or fix or not even like fix or add at all. Maybe it's just fine how it is. All right, who's ready for the the leaves? It's time for the leaves. Um, 
reading more of your your comments here. Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, everyone's <laughs> saying congrats on 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> Allison says everyone hit like. Let's help her get to the next milestone. You're so you're so kind, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> um, Hannah says, I think Allison has the Canon Pixma Pro printer. Yes, I, I do. Um, and she says, I'm finally ready to buy one, and no one has them, either the Canons or the comparable Epson. Since the global situation, they are hard to get. Yeah, I think they are hard to get right now. Honestly, I feel like now I would get the newer version of the Canon Pixma Pro 100, which I think is the 200. Um, I think that's the newer version. Okay, so the leaves on my blueberries, I kind of want them to be the same green as my strawberries because what I'm trying to go for, I, I kind of want these two paintings to like go together and if I use a different green for these guys, then it just won't go together. You, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use the same green I used for my strawberries, which um, is my is from my Agalo paint set, which I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so this paint set here, I used these two greens right here. So I plan on using those. And yeah, let's get started. Uh, <laughs> Chatter says, you're the best teacher ever. I wish I had teachers like you when I was at school. I would have been a rocket scientist. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to use my size 4 round brush for, for right now um, and I'm, I'm going to paint like just a base layer for these leaves, like a first uh, base layer with a very light green. So I, I actually need to uh, wipe, wipe an area off here. So I'm going to take a paper towel and just kind of... This will be my darker green, so I want my lighter to green, my lighter green to be here. Okay, and then I'm going to take this lighter green right here. I think this is it. Sometimes I take my paints out and I like put them in wrong. Actually, that, that's not it. Where is it? It's not even in here. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know where my green is right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold, hold on guys, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know where my green went in my pan set here. <sighs> okay, so let's just go ahead and take this green and we'll just add um we'll just add more water to it. That is so weird. So weird. I don't know where it went. Now I'm like kind of worried. Maybe Leo got like found it and like just knocked it off my desk. <laughs> He does that. Okay, so yeah, I'm taking this green and for a light green, we wanna add a lot of water. <clears throat> Trish says, so much depth you're getting in your centers. Thank you. They were like the hardest part. I'm I'm glad they they look pretty okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this leaf up here. So with this lighter green, I'm just gonna fill it in. This is like the first, very first 
layer. So, yeah. And when I trace my outline, I trace the outer part of the leaf with watercolor pencil, and then I trace the inner lines, like these lines here, with pencil. That way, I can still see, like they'll, they'll still show up when I paint in my second layer. That's kind of why I did that. Because I, I don't want them to disappear um, until I add my second layer when I paint over them. Um, thank you, Allison. <laughs> I'm going to move to this one here. And I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, oh, wait. No, hold on. I, I want to wait to paint in this one. I think I'm just going to wait. going to move to this leaf. Who here is on the leaves with me? Or are you still on your blueberries? I'd love to know. Let me know in the chat. Hannah says, I love hearing you say, wow, when you look at your painting, especially after feeling challenged. It's so fun to look at the finished work and say, dang, I'm painted that. I never, it never gets old, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty impressed with my blueberries. I, I, I really like how they turned out. You know, so, sometimes it's, scary going live and painting because I'm just like you you guys like you know I'm not like a super like oh I know everything watercolor I know like I'm so talented and like I, I'm not like that I I like mess up all the time and I doubt myself so but it seems like you guys don't mind that <laughs> which is good Um, Shelly says, so juicy. The 3D effect is amazing. It looks like I can reach out and pick them right off my screen. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad they look realistic. <laughs> now I wish I had blueberries to eat. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to this leaf down here. find the printers with the pigments rather than the plain ink. The Canon Pixman Pro 100 has the pigment inks which are more archival. I'm not sure if the 200 does. Oh, okay, yeah, I I wasn't sure. Yeah, I don't really know much about the Canon Pixma Pro 200, so yeah. You, you definitely want your inks to be archival. At least if you're selling your prints, like you, 
you, you want that. You don't want inks that are not. Okay, I'm going to move to this leaf here. Just fill it in. And this little guy. Kind of made my pencil mark dark. Oh well. <laughs> now I'm going to kind of just smooth this down into the stem. Again, this is just the first layer, so I'm not like worried about making things perfect yet. Moving this up. And then this little leaf. Okay, and then I'm gonna start painting in these stems. Um, yeah, I'm like using the very, very tip of my brush. And then over here. Okay. Sarah says, I'm not sure how much the inks are yet for the Epson. Only bought it yesterday. Um, yeah, you, you could also look into a precision, pre, <laughs> precision, precision colors. That's where I buy my inks for my Canon Pixma Pro 100. It, it is a learning curve though to learn how to and um, refill your ink cartridges with with that but you save a ton of money on uh ink uh let's see trish says i'm slow still on leaves oh that's so oh wait she she says still on on berries that's okay <laughs> i honestly i would be too I, I just try to paint quickly during these live streams I'm actually like a, a slow painter if I'm not like filming. All right, so we painted in the first layer on these leaves. Now we want to paint in the second layer. And what I'm trying to go for, for um, it's kind of like what I did with the strawberry leaves. So I'm like painting in the, the veins of the leaves a little darker and then kind of blending them into that lighter green. Naomi says, I'm starting on the leaves, but your blueberries look way better than mine. Hey, no. I'm sure yours look good. Um, all right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take the same green I was painting with. Add it over here. This time for the darker green. Um, we, we don't want to add as much water to the green. We, um, just want to add enough so that it's easy to paint with. So yeah, I'm just adding this, adding water. Okay, and then I'm going to be blending with another brush as I paint my size four round brush that just has water in it. Okay, so I mean my, my leaves probably won't look super realistic. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how they look. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna paint in the middle 
the middle line, just, just kind of like halfway, all right? And then I'm gonna switch to my brush that just has water and I'm just going to drag this down or up to the rest of that uh, middle vein, like that. And then I'm going to take my brush that has paint in it, add a little bit more like that, and then switch to my blending brush and blend some more. So as you can see, it's like kind of darker in the center right here. Uh, Naomi says, I finally ordered some black velvet brushes to try. They are taking forever to arrive in the mail, though. Oh, darn. Don't tell me you hate when that happens, like, just waiting for your art supplies to arrive. <laughs> and you're so excited to get them. Okay, so now I'm going to paint in each of these beans like that, all right? And then switch to my blending brush and then paint, like drag it more this way, like that. So when I first apply the paint, I'm not like painting in the whole entire vein, just like the beginning of it. And then I am blending it out. Yvonne says, done with the sketch, added a bird and more berries because I added a bird to the strawberries. I saw, I saw that. Oh my gosh, a bird with, with these would be perfect. Um, Chatra, I don't know if you're still here, but um, she, she is painting a blue bird with her blueberries, which is really cool. You know, I, I would definitely do that. It's just this this life tutorial can only be so long, you know. <laughs> so okay, I'm gonna move on to this leaf here. Oh yeah, she's here. <laughs> I, I thought you were still here, maybe. How's it going with, with your blueberries, Chatra? I love to know. Or any, anyone else who, who wants to chime in. Okay.
going to add a little bit more over here in the middle and kind of blend up. Um, Carol says, oh, Allison, I'm very late. I just began my leaves. Could you just repeat what sort of green you use? Yeah, of course. I am, I'm using this uh, green earth here from the Agalo set. So this is the green I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna move to this leaf. Blend up. Kim says, wow, fantastic blueberries. Amazing job on the details. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna paint this here. And I kind of blend it down at the base. I'm gonna add some some dark green down here. And then paint in this one. Um, this one does not have any beans. I don't really know what I, like, why I didn't add them in. Or, I, I don't really know what's going on with that leaf. <laughs> so I'm just kind of adding a little, like, some little beans. My pencil mark was really dark. I kind of wish I didn't paint it that dark, or draw it that dark. Um or that I erased it before painting. Um, Naomi says, I rush them a bit to catch up. <laughs> um, Yvonne says, my husband too, I can hear him on the second floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad my husband isn't the only one who does that. We're, we're talking that um, our husbands talk really loud on the phone. Like Jimmy, he like yells. Like, I don't know. Like not, not in, in like a rude, mean way. Like his voice is just really like loud. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of dark green here because this sleeve overlaps this sleeve. Like that. Okay, I think these leaves, like these two here, are just kind of like, like we're, we're seeing the back of them. So maybe that's why I didn't draw any veins. Okay, I'm gonna add some dark green on the outer edge here. And blend a little bit. Okay, then this guy, he, he has like a fold, like this. Okay, um... I'm, I think I'm going to paint in the stems again and then the sleeve last. Could add some more green here. Trish says, This is the oval leafed blueberry. The leaves are fairly understated. Well, good to know. I I just, yeah, I, I don't know anything about <laughs> blueberry plants. So uh, understated, what what do you mean by that exactly? Like they, they're just kind of simple? Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to add a dark green to like this side of the stem and then blend and then the other side of it will be white so this just kind of gives more depth to the stem and then down here I accidentally made this a little thicker than I was wanting but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I think I'm going to kind of add a little bit more up here to help make it look more balanced. Uh, let's see. Chatter says, so far so good. Regretting drawing in so many. I'm doing the middle star part. <laughs> Good luck, Chatra. I know you, you can do it. I know you can. Sarah says, the blueberries are looking good. Thank you. Fallon says, I've been quiet because I've been painting for work, but your blueberries look great. Thank you. Bone says, I love blueberries. I quit eating ice cream at night, so now I eat blueberries and Greek yogurt. More protein. Or at breakfast with my homemade granola. Ooh. That sounds delicious. And yeah, that, that's a really good idea. Um, blueberries and Greek yogurt. I've been having Greek yogurt for breakfast every morning lately. Well, so, sometimes I use, uh, I eat coconut yogurt just cause dairy like, uh, like makes me break out sometimes like an acne. <laughs> But um, yeah, I've been eating yogurt and, and fruit and granola every morning. It's been really, really yummy. Okay. Um, 
Kim says, I would love to see you paint a large mouth bass. Oh. Yeah, I I I do want to paint more like sea life or like just water. I, I was gonna say water animals. <laughs> just just more like fish and stuff. I haven't really painted much fish. So there's so much to paint in nature. So many beautiful, beautiful plants and animals to paint. I guess it's a good thing. I'll never run out of ideas. All right, so we are almost done. Um, but first, okay, first I, I need to add something to the sleeve here. I think this has like a fold. Uh, here, I have my outline. It has like kind of like a fold and then like some veins maybe. I'm going to add some dark green to the bottom. Blend. Okay, and then paint in some veins. That. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little, like, some dark green here in between these two leaves. Like that. And then in between these two guys. So yeah, I'm just kind of going over the leaves, adding shadow to them. Help them stand out a little bit more. I'm going around the edges of them too. I'm gonna add some more dark green at the bottom of this leaf. And then same here at the bottom of the sleeve. Okay, I'm just adding more of this green to my palette here. Um, hi, Ashton. Ashton says, happy I could join during my lunch break for a little while. I'll paint mine this weekend and watch the rest in the replay. Hey, I'm so glad that you can like join us for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add this dark green kind of like on one side of the, of the sleeve like that and then switch to my blending brush. Blend. Uh, I, can't, I feel like I added a little too much. Um, okay, yeah, that, that looks fine. I'm, now I'm going to add a little bit more in the middle, like that, and then blend again. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. For this leaf. So this side I'll paint the darker green. Blend. And then in the middle. And then I'm going to kind of paint 
the outer edge a little bit. Um, and then add some more dark green to these branches. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Almost done. All right. Now I, I can still kind of see my watercolor pencil outline. So I'm gonna kind of go over that. I'm pretty happy with this like I, I like it I like that the leaves are not like you know super super detailed I mean maybe I'll go back into them later but I'm pretty happy with them so yeah um let me know um what you thought of this tutorial I'll give you a close-up here I love it. I'm so happy with it. Thank you, Allison. And then here's the strawberries. I feel like these two, yeah, go so well together. Look at that. It's exactly what I was trying to go for. Have them go together. Um, so yeah, if you haven't checked out the strawberry tutorial, I will put that link. Uh, I will link it in the description of this video for you. Um, and then we will be doing more fruit later on on my channel. So stay tuned for more fruit tutorials. Next week, we'll be painting a um, mouse. So that's going to be a lot of fun. It's to kick off our 10 day watercolor woodland animal challenge. Uh, so if you haven't joined that challenge, I will put the link to it in the description of this video for you. We have almost 200 signups, just insane. Okay, thank you guys so, so much um, for hanging out with me. Let's see, Allison, thank you. Naomi, thank you so much. Um, she says, love the tutorial. Heather says, beautiful set, yeah. Yeah, I, I think these go well, go together so well. Um, thank you, Sarah. Um, yeah, no, no problem, Hannah. She says, thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Cozy, Jazz, Shelly, um, Tracy, Sarah, Heather, Chatra, awesome, Allison. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Um, so yeah, I will see you next Friday for the next tutorial and I'll be coming out Tuesday with a new artist vlog um, and yeah so that's what you can look forward to next week on my channel thank you guys thank you Carol <laughs> thank you all right guys have a great weekend take care I appreciate you so so much and I'll see you next week bye bye guys Oh, don't forget to use my hashtag on Instagram, Alsline Art Tutorial, and tag me when you post your blueberries so that I can see them. Okay, bye.